Hello, it's time for another bedtime story. Now, yesterday I promised you a picture book about trains. So that's what we're going to read tonight. All about trains. Let's open our very old antique book with the beautiful pictures. Let's open it to trains. Okay, I'm going to adjust it so you can see all the wonderful pictures. Trains. Choo-choo. Run the engine onto the turntable and to the roundhouse where it gets fixed. Anybody who plays with Thomas the Train knows all about the roundhouse. Stand by. Pour the water in the tender. It's a great big water faucet. All the freight cars wait for the engine. Can't go anywhere without the engine. They are... A box car. That's it, shaped like a box. I have a little trouble here. A flat car. The logs are on top of the flat car. A gondola car, because you can put things inside and call it a gondola. A piggyback flat car. Hmm. What does this say? Corrugated boxes. They're shipping corrugated boxes to package things in. Next we have... A well-type flat car. It's flat, but then it goes down. So they call it a well-type flat car. What other cars do we have here? And more open-top hoppers. And more gondolas. Wow, look at that train yard. It's busy and it's full. A stock car. You see what they're going to put on the stock car? Piggies, cows, different kind of animals. A refrigerator car. You know what goes in there? Milk, eggs, different things to be kept in a refrigerator car. An auto car. You'll see how funny some of the cars look in this book because, as I said, the book is so old. But they do ship automobiles and box cars. Tank cars, and I guess they put gasoline in tank cars and oil. The friendly caboose at the very end. This was always my favorite part of the train because it was always at the end, and it's a nice red color, and the train master always used to wave if he saw children. Last but not least, clackety clack, clackety clack, speed the diesels that take people far away in all kinds of passenger cars. Here's a mail car and a baggage car. Here's a 
coach. And this they call a Vista Dome because it has a big window on it. And passenger cars are the ones that you probably know the most about. Because maybe you've ridden in one. You're lucky if you have. Well, tomorrow, the giant book of things that go, what we're going to be looking at is boats. So I hope you have someone to hug you and kiss you tonight. But know that I'm here sending all my love and reading you some bedtime stories. Bye-bye.